In this clip, I'll demonstrate how to download and install R and also R Studio, the add-on that I recommend using. So we'll start with looking for the download page if you don't have a link. So you could immediately go to the Windows download if you have a Windows operating system. But uh, let's go to another page. No, that wasn't the one I wanted to hear, this one. And there's a little description of what R is, so you can go to the download packages. Now there's all sorts of mirrors of places from where you could download it. Just choose one that's close to you and you get to this page. So here you can now get to the Windows again, and that's what we're going to do in a moment. But you can also follow a link for Mac download, and that would be most likely the download you would be interested in. Um, that one or that one, depending on your version of the operating system. But here we'll go to download for Windows. All we're going to need is the base download here. We will not need these at this time. So uh, both these links go to the same page and now we download that for Windows and this will now take a while. So once uh, it's finished, we can just run this and you select your language. and we just do all the usual stuff. So here we, I have a 64-bit uh, machine, so you can unclick the 32-bit uh, files, but uh, you could also just choose this one, the 64-bit installation or the 32-bit if you have a 32-bit processor. So next. Um, do you want to customize the options? We'll say no. And that is just the usual stuff that's being asked. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, you can click everything and that will now have to install. And we finish. And that means we have finished the R installation. So you could at this stage already R has appeared on my desktop and you could start it and start and start working with it. Um, that doesn't really make sense what you see yet here, but uh, it is already a um, calculator A plus nine seventeen. But we'll close this because what we're now going to do is we are going to download our studio, which is the add-on we will use. So we go to Google again and we try and find the, the R studio download. We go to the download page. So here you, you can see this requires that you have R installed already, which I have now on my machine. So then you pick down here the correct download for yourself. For me, that's this Windows. This will now download. And when the, once the download is complete, we will install and we shall go through the install procedure as usual. So in my case, this has again created another shortcut on my desktop here. Uh, this little R in the circle, R Studio. If I now upload this, what we see here is something that looks slightly different than the window we saw before, but it's basically using the same software. So we have again, a little calculator here. Um, this is what we'll later call the command line and all sorts of other things. But in a separate video, I will explain what this all means.